hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly we have x squared plus x to the power of 2 equals 16 and the first step to take is to square both sides knowing that 16 is a perfect square okay so we're going to have um, x squared plus x to the power of 2 take the square root of this then on the right hand side we take the square root of 16 but it to be positive or negative now this can go with this this square is still there, right? So we have x squared plus x and it's equal to plus or minus square root of 16 is 4. So we're going to have two equations. The first is x squared plus x equals 4. And the second will be the negative. So I'm coming back to pick this. Okay, remember, I will get back to this. Now, from here, we have x squared plus x minus 4 equals 0. That is, if you bring 4 to the left, and then you have to equate to 0, right? Okay, now, the next thing to do is to find or to solve this quadratic equation remember this is a quadratic equation and we can use the formula to deal with this x is equal to minus b plus or minus we have square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a okay so this is called the quadratic um, general formula right now, according to this equation, our a is 1, our b is 1, and our c is minus 4. a is a coefficient of x squared, b is a coefficient of x, and c is a constant, which is minus 4, right? Now, let's put this back into this equation, and we have x to be equal to minus b, that is now minus 1, right? Plus or minus, then we have square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1, right? Okay, then multiply by c, our c is minus 4. Okay, close this, and we divide this. Sorry, I wrote out of sight. And our Okay, we divide by 2, multiply by a, and it's 1. So x now is equal to minus 1, plus or minus. Then we have 1 squared, which is 1. 1 squared is 1. Then we have um, minus times 1. Minus 4 times 1 times minus 4. That will give us plus 16. Because negative, negative is positive. 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. And we shall divide this by 2. Our x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 16. Okay, 17. 16 plus 1 is 17. Then we divide this by 2. So from the first equation, we have our x to be equal to minus 6 plus square root of 17 over 2 or we have minus 6 minus square root of 17 over 2 but mind you we are not interested in getting this um, the decimal solution to this so we can stop at this um, level now we go back to the second equation which will be from um, which will be from here okay so this time around I'm going to have minus 4 on the right hand side 
Okay, so here is the equation. So we have x squared plus x plus 4 equals 0. So we still have a quadratic equation and we can only solve this by using the um okay we're gonna use um the formula method for this as well. So our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four a c all over two times a and according to the equation, our a is 1, our b is 1, and our c is 4. The only difference between this and the other equation is the constant. The one before, the constant, was minus 4, but this is 4. So our x now will be equal to, in place of minus b, I write minus 1, plus or minus we have 1 squared, then minus 4 times 1 times 4. This is because our, our a is 1 and our c is 4, so we divide by 2 times 1. Now x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus, we have 1 squared, then minus 16. 1 squared is 1, 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. And then we divide this by 2, right? So the next thing is, do not find the square root of 1 and the square root of 16. Then you subtract. That is wrong. You have to deal with what you have under the square root sign before taking the square root. So our x now is minus 1 plus or minus. Then we have square root of minus 15. And this will be over 2. Now we are having square root of negative number. So this means that we are not having a real solution from here. But we can still proceed with this. So that our x will become minus 1 plus or minus square root of 15 times square root of negative 1 over 2. This is because this negative has to come out or else you will not be able to find the square root of um, negative 15. Now our x is equal to minus 1 plus or minus. We have square root of 15 multiplied by i because the square root of negative 1 is i. Then we divide by 2. Now let's arrange this in a better way. So this means that x is equal to minus 1 plus square root of 15 times i is the same as i square root of 15. So we have this over 2, right? Or we I used positive before, right? So now I'm going to pick the negative. We have minus 1, then minus i square root of 15, and that is over 2. Okay, so this is what we have. We have two solutions from here, and um, the one we did before, we also had two solutions. Thank you for watching.